Well, after 12 years of planning and three years of construction, the Tippecanoe County Fairgrounds are now open for business. News 18's Meredith Heckler joins us live from the fairgrounds to tell us how the community is re reacting to today's grand opening. Meredith? Hey there, Jeff. I am standing in the Coliseum portion of the new Tippecanoe County Fairgrounds. And as you can see, they're very beautiful, beautiful bleachers in just a huge new area. And while that's going to be great for 4-H shows, the county is hopeful that they can attract some other new events. Now, the county invested over $20 million into the new fairgrounds. They saw the old ones were declining and they knew they had to do something about it. Now, there was some talk about moving the fairgrounds to a different part of the county, but they wanted to be in the center of the county where people from from both the city and the country could get there easily. Tippecanoe County Commissioner Dave Byer says the fairgrounds are located almost directly in the center of Tippecanoe County. He says they have high hopes for what other activities can be hosted in this brand new state of the art facility. The fair is fair, but it's only a couple weeks, you know, so it's the other 50 weeks what we're really trying to promote and market. And, you know, we have some big vendors that are already looking at the entire facility. While the biggest parts of the project are done, there are still a few things left to finish. Landscaping on the fairgrounds will be done after the fair takes place, and the county also hopes to change the look of the grand entrance. And they also plan on adding a memorial area somewhere on the fairgrounds, which will be used for weddings and opportunities for people to take pictures. Now, the fairgrounds are also fully equipped with Wi-Fi thanks to wind tech, and the Tippecanoe County Fair takes place July 17th through the 24th, so if you're going to be in town, you're definitely going to want to come and check it out. Live in Lafayette, Meredith Hackler, News 18.